YouTube family. Let's talk about it. So 600 Breezy a couple of days ago got in a back and forth with Queen Key and he spoke his piece about the whole situation. He let it be known and said and and Houston we had a, a somewhat of a problem in the situation and Breezy was just trying to you know let folks and them know what it is when it comes to his situation. Now 600 Breezy is not one to be fooled by none of the exact. So let's go more deep into this. This is about babies that he's not claiming, not doing his due diligence allegedly to be a father or whatnot. Um, before we say that he say, she say, we got to understand and be fair that this is just the opinions of his so-called baby mama. I can't go out the way and say she is emphatically right. You know what I mean? She's in the, the know-it-all to say what she's saying. Now, Quinn Key is basically you know a, a symbol in this equation and she's gonna let it be known how she feels and you know as well she should if this is true or not she should speak her piece now queen key did a whole lot of going and before we get started man let's pay some bills right quick this my zombies move hella swift no time to politics keep the white girl like taylor swift F -f everything taylor with some fresh gators for the gator fucking hater me if he ain't by paper free my nigga nature recipes deep on my neck like a glacier a glizzy with a laser the gang getting faker your boy going major no check out kid paper. outlaw new hit run it up now there's a lot of situations in these streets about who's right who's incorrect and before we get started man let's go to some of these messages what they showed out here that can give us a better picture of what was going on now i'm going to show you the back and forth and and, and and what it is through this whole situation whether you want to call it propaganda or not now 600 breezy made a statement and he said and uh take all this social media ish away then what you miserable miserable and broke i'm still happy and rich i mean he had a message to his haters and he say shout out you know what i mean basically he's speaking of the ones who's genuinely happy for him people who want to see him win now the receipts don't stop there apparently breezy goes in even more now breezy showed a post how he was doing good he said seven months clean no lean no pills no hard drugs at all six foot five 240 gym two to three two no three to four times a week take care of yourself and don't shorten your lifespan following trends now me i was proud he said something like that you got the youths out here who ain't really doing much to see just negative all day to see a positive role model in there was good now 600 breezy ain't done yet he said hey wait a minute on this dna y'all basically saying i don't get the right to know 1000 percent if them kids if them my kids just take care of them because she said they are right never gonna happen label me a deadbeat that's cool but i'm not going out like that any other woman would have gave me that test to shut me the f up a long time ago so what's stopping her but you can beat the internet y'all got it boss and then 600 breezy replied to another one if y'all can see on the screen he said i've been asking for a test publicly since they was in her stomach and she keeps saying no but y'all don't take care she the sob story single moms with three kids course y'all gonna take her side now it was a lot going on if y'all see on the internet you know it was a lot of back and forth now 600 breezy basically saying y'all don't get the right to know when um about you already read that and he's like you got it she did a response of herself now her response went a little bit crazy let's get on to it now queen looked at him and said he must be training to come pick up these babies key queen and first of all if y'all want to know who the baby's educational purpose and what they talking about let me put it on the screen so y'all can see these beautiful twins over here you know that's allegedly the the beautiful kids of 600 breezy and she's saying that he gotta come take care of them he gotta do his job now she said somebody tell him don't nobody give a f you still a deadbeat and he wrote right under it the blood test 
it can be so simple. And then he, he at official Maury show called DNA. I'm sick of this ish. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a story that's going crazy. Now, do they allegedly look like 600 Breezy? I don't know. Both people involved or light skin, both people you're looking at on the screen resemble each other to the point i can't be disingenuous and say it's not the baby it is the baby this is just a back and forth that's going to continue because you got a personal situation which is kids being involved anytime you got kids being involved it's going to be like this now before we get to the rest of the back and forth 600 breezy had a lot to say as far as his relationship with queen key and how he feel about her five years okay five years in your opinion from what you've seen, what you've experienced, what do you think the biggest mistake rappers make is? Signing to other rappers. Can't even sign to another rapper. It's like, he got to do his job. Too. I apologize. This is him speaking about Drake. But I want to go to his response to Queen Key. You know, sometimes it's good to break these down thoroughly and have a better understanding. Now, what he said to Queen Key, this is the main, he said this is the main reason why not wanting to be with her. Shout out to DJ Small Eyes too. For Jeez. the record, were you ever girlfriend and boyfriend? Nah. In life? Never, ever, ever. Like, I took a liking to this girl when she first started rapping. And that shit was like, 2015 so like I was the first person like I like you know when I came on the scene I instantly came on the scene lit up so I was already who I am I was tweeting out music bringing her to my shows like people she on stage with me while I'm performing all type of shit I put her in my videos uh, I was in her videos giving her cameos and shit and then it's just like on it like what's up where you at What's up? You ain't trying to see me. You ain't trying to link. My dumb ass did it. Fucked her. Like, and I'm a toxic person. I know it. Like, a lot of they don't know how to act after a while. But this particular person is a very fucking disrespectful person. Like, before all the internet shit that people see and that go on, she just an evil bitch. Like, second and third and fourth chances and shit. So if I would have never been that type of person, I wouldn't even be in none of this this predicament that I'm in right now, bro. Like, cause if I just stopped fucking with that bitch when I told myself stop fucking with that bitch, I wouldn't even be in none of this shit. But I just kept accepting her. Like it'll be a month go past when I'm talk that the rate you going, bitch. How you gonna say this to me and you fucking me unprotected? But you saying dumbass shit to me like this, you know? Like, and just, just. She's the epitome, like a Chicago, like Chicago females are ignorant. She from the suburbs, she know that. I, I said that in the message, like why would I want to be with somebody that disrespect me the way you do? Like I'm, I'm not a nigga that call females bitches at, to their face, hoes, be disrespectful. I don't put my hands on women, none of that shit. Like, so I, like it, I, I, a certain level of disrespect. Now the queen also responded you know, and, and, and respond to 600 Breezy's, and she was explaining how he gave her you know what down there years ago. Um, a thousand times off that motherfucking mouth. I'm not no liar, bitch, I ain't say it was weak. I said your ass Geechee, nigga. You look like you sucking dick. Education. That's perfect. what I said, and that remains. <laughs> Fuck wrong with y'all, and any bitch can get smacked. Y'all been through that. And now she also says, when she confirmed years ago that 600 Breezy was the father. The <laughs> Everyone's talking about you. I ain't even heard of you. I don't know why the fuck they talking about me. Don't talk about me. Cash at me. Y'all say I'm gonna have three kids. Cash at a bitch. Hey, bring the speaker down here. Bring the speaker down here. I'm finna hit that shit on y'all. Chuka, bring the speaker down here. I'm finna real life hit. You got to be in it. You got to be over here. Yay! What's that now? No, no. I did a part of lit outside. Fuck they talk. <laughs> Do I have names? Um, I think I have names. Oh, you sm- Someone bring that shit down if I can put my foot up his ass. 
for real. How many months am I? Um, I'm almost five months. So yeah, I got like fucking no. Keyshawn is ghetto. I only got like two two and a half months left for him. Three months, baby. Shit, I done went through the motherfucking hard part already. I couldn't tell y'all shit while I was sick, cause I would've had shit. They don't even know what time it is. They don't even know what time it is. Oh, give me somebody named Kari. Kari. Why you taking the phone? Do you even know he took it? Where the music at? You didn't even play it. I was playing in that boy. Okay, D.A. Now, she gave her response to the scene, and you guys seen what was going on. There's just a whole lot involving in that situation to let you know it's a toxic situation, and it's better they avoid each other if all is well. Now, she got a beautiful family, and we hope it stays like that, a beautiful family. Now, if he is the father, according to him, he will be there for his child and nonetheless take care of that child. So, as a matter of fact, this beautiful child that you see in these pictures we only can hope that anybody who's the actual father come and take care of these blessings of the world and do what they gotta do you know what i mean because this type of vibe freeze old known for blowing yes i'm talking about the coke and plus that metal thing that smoke all these niggas six figures money and my guns bigger i'm a street public figure bald heads like deal pickle yes i'm talking about the rug rats i got it as a pigeon four five tucked in my bridges nigga i spaz out you can't fuck with me you know that is the truth boss high i think i just cracked the tooth man shout out to 600 breeze we hope you make amends for all the the transgressions you did out here in the past which you have and thank you for teaching these kids that it's a better way than not you know the going backwards and retracting man blessings to the kings the queens and the gods i'm your god blessed one love your family love your kids and stay blessed man blessings to everybody watching this video today i'm your god blessed one love your family love your kids and stay blessed y'all Major, no more pulling capers. You feel come up, man. Young nigga, right?